This active engagement strategy is called Four Corners, and it doesn't require a lot of hardware. All you need is four pieces of poster paper. Place them on or near the corners of your room, and they should read strongly agree, somewhat agree, somewhat disagree, and strongly disagree. You're then going to make a statement about your lesson, and you're gonna tell students to move through the corner which best aligns with their opinion. Once the students are there, let them know that they're gonna be responsible for sharing out their thoughts, letting you know why they chose that corner, and they can be called on at any time. Something that I really liked doing was using a timer to make sure that the students got moving, especially at the first of the activity. So today, I've brought some friends along with me to help me demonstrate Four Corners. Hey, guys. Hi, Mr. Pope. Hey, Mr. Pope. Hey. Thanks for joining me today. We're gonna show the audience how to do Four Corners. Yeah, Four Corners. I love that one. I know that one. Let's imagine that I'm teaching a world history class and the topic of the day is Hammurabi's Code, an early set of laws. My first statement would be, laws make me a better person. All right, class, think with your feet and move to a corner. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Mr. Pope. Why did you choose strongly agree? Well, the way I see it, laws are a lot like the rules of a classroom. They tell you what you can do and what you can't do. How would you know otherwise? That's a great answer, Arthur, thank you. All right, for our next statement, laws are important to society. Okay, class, find your corner. Hey, Jasper. Hi, Mr. Pope. Why did you choose somewhat disagree? Well, do we really need laws? People are good, they'll, they'll do the right thing. That's really interesting. Uh, oh, Patrick, I see you over there. Why did you choose strongly agree? Well. If there were no laws, who would protect us? Mr. Pope, I didn't think about it that way. Can I change my mind? Sure, Jasper, go ahead. Thank you, everybody, for helping me out today. Sure thing, Mr. Pope. 